Well, lads and lasses, that was an absolute fucking disaster. I mean, I've seen car crashes with more elegance. Honestly, I was half expecting to walk into the dressing room after the match and find out it was all an elaborate prank for some hidden camera show. But no, it was real 4-0. I feel like I just watched my nan try to play FIFA on legendary mode. Let's start with the defence. Calling them a shambles is an insult to shambles everywhere. More structure in a Jenga tower after a few too many pints. They were like a group of blokes who just met on the bus ride over. Like, they all had a gentleman's agreement to not get within five feet of the ball. And don't even get me started on the keeper. He was diving the wrong way so often. I thought he was trying to find a secret exit to the pub. Midfield. Christ, they were about as useful as a one-legged man in an arse kicking contest. I've seen people play with more energy after a night out on the lash. They couldn't pass wind, let alone a football. I swear, if they put half as much effort into running as they did into looking shocked when the ball got nicked off them, we might have had a chance. The strikers, where do I begin? I've seen more clinical finishes at Buddy Morgue. It's like they were allergic to scoring. They spend more time in the opponent's box than a teenager on Pornhub and still couldn't find the back of the net. At this rate, I might have to lace up my boots again just to show these lads what a goal looks like. Anyway, I'll have a word with the team or maybe I'll just get a cattle prod and give them a proper wake-up call. Either way, next match we're either showing up or I'm showing them the door. Cheers.